All right, morning. Welcome into another day of our daily devos in the Psalms. And we are in Psalm 3 today. And so if you want to turn in your Bibles there, if you're not driving around or something, um, chapter 3 goes like this. Lord, how my foes increase. There are many who attack me. Many say about me, there's no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of thousands of people who have taken their stand against me on every side. Rise up, Lord, save me, my God. You strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. All right. So a couple of things that I just wanted to share that kind of jumped out at me. And um, I was reading a a note in one of my study Bibles. And it talked about how the word many there in verses 1 and 2 is actually the same comes from the same Hebrew root of the word that God said to Adam and Eve when he told them to multiply um, be fruitful and multiply and then the next the next time it's used is in verse 2 it says many say about me there's no help for him in God and uh, many are those who attack me and and the there's another time that that same Hebrew root word was used and that was when God declared that he was going to multiply Abraham's descendants. And so here we have in the beginning, in the, in the beginning of everything, God declaring, I'm going to multiply. I want you to multiply um, to his people for his plans and purposes. And here we see the enemy kind of doing the, the opposite, you know, the, the enemy comes in and multiplies, you know, and there's many coming against you. There's many that are speaking against you and uh, how so often that that is how the enemy comes in and attacks us is tries to come in and, and uh, be the opposite of what God's trying to do in our lives. But the good thing is, is that it's not, it's not even a close race, you know, between God and between evil um, because God is far above all. So we can be confident that God is God, that he's the king of the universe, that he's got it under control. Um, and uh, then the next thing is uh, verse two, many say about me, there's no help for him in God. They didn't just come and say, you're helpless, you're a loser, you're this or that. They came and they attacked his God. So the psalmist's God, they came and attacked his confidence, his perception of who God was. And and again, it sounds an awful lot like someone that was talking to Eve about eating from the tree where totally questioning like God what do you think God's doing why do you think God has told you no about this fruit it's not because you know any no it's because he has terrible goals for you he has terrible plans for you and so the enemy comes to erode your confidence in God by speaking against God by trying to discourage you especially in times where your circumstances seem to support the accusations. So when you are surrounded by enemies, when many are they that rise up against you, it can be really easy to then go along with the the lies of the enemy. But here we want to just make sure that we do what the psalmist does here. Um, the, what the psalmist does here is he says, but... You, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. So always having confidence in the Lord, 
especially the next verses, I cry aloud to the Lord and he answers me. Confidence that God will always answer me. God is always listening to my requests, to my cries for help. And one thing I really liked out of verse 3, but you, Lord, are a shield around me. So that's a pretty um, pretty common word picture, right? Is just having a shield around you that protects you from harm. But this next one, um, you are my glory and the one who lifts up my head. So my glory, um, glory is a word that has weight to it. Um, but what it kind of implies is you are my reputation. You are all, you're all of that. My, you are my significance. You are my reputation. Really tying every bit of himself into who God is, regardless of what his circumstances are saying. And then basically preaching to himself to say, I cry aloud to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. You, Lord, are my shield and my glory and the one who lifts my head. And I think that's a great meditation for us today to just meditate on uh, verse three of, of this psalm. All right, and then, um, then jumping over to verse, uh, verse five, I lie down and sleep and I wake again because the Lord sustains me and I will not be afraid of thousands of people who have taken their stand against me on every side. I mean, obviously, if you get to a place where you can lie down and sleep, it's because you feel confident enough, you feel secure enough to be able to close your eyes and go to sleep. And so... Um, and also recognizing that it is the one, it is the Lord who sustains me. And that's why he can be secure enough to sleep is because he recognizes that God is the one who protects me. God is the one who sustains me. God is the one who wakes me up. You know, as I wake up in the morning, he sustains me. Even the fact that you woke up is a sign that God sustained you. Rise up, Lord, verse 7. Rise up, save me, my God. You strike all my enemies on the cheek and you break the teeth of the wicked. And so obviously this is his cry for help. Um, what, you know, exactly what he's asking for. He's like, God, bust them up, Lord, bust up my enemies. Um, and then verse eight is great because it's how we should um, couch all of our requests to the Lord as well. Salvation belongs to the Lord. May your blessings be on your people. Salvation belongs to the Lord. So I don't know the timing of God when you want to answer these requests. I don't know when you want to accomplish this, but salvation belongs to you. And I trust you because you sustain me. You're my king. You're my God. You're my glory and the lifter of my head. You're the shield about me. So I just, I'm so impacted by how he was so surrounded and this is king david well this is david before he was king um man we're talking about some serious oppression seriously bad circumstances and some of us right now might be in the midst of serious circumstances and yet the psalmist declaration was regardless of what my circumstances are i will trust in you I will trust in you, my great God. And, and, and you know what? I might need to remind myself who you are. You're, you're my shield about me. You're my glory. You're the lifter of my head. And just preach to yourself a little bit. Stir yourself up. Remind yourself that he is your safety, your security. You could lie down and sleep because he's got you. So with that, I just hope you are encouraged today. Again, take some time, read through, meditate on Psalm 3. I hope it blesses you today, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless you.